Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to merge customer accounts. Okay, so this happens quite frequently after you have been using your QuickBooks file for a while. You're going you're gonna to enter a customer name and then you may have somebody else in the same QuickBooks file. They enter that same customer name again. Uh, but, you know, if, if you do the name exactly, like if you, if you type it in exactly twice, uh, QuickBooks will alert you and say, hey, this customer already exists. But a lot of times, you know, there could be a minor misspelling or maybe somebody puts, you know, like a, a junior or senior after the name or even an extra space and or just a minor misspelling. And this can create a duplicate customer in QuickBooks. And so to keep your customer list clean and to keep your QuickBooks file uncluttered, you want to merge these duplicate accounts. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when we merge these accounts is you want to merge into the customer that you want to keep. Okay, and you want to, uh, you know, the, the one that you don't want to keep is the one you're going to change or the one that's going to be merged into. Okay, now all of the data that you have in there will merge into this other customer. So you're not going to lose any of your data. You're simply just merging the two customers. Okay, so let me show you an example here. Okay, so if I go to my customer center uh, and I have set up a, uh, I have changed the name of one of them to, to match Christy Abercrombie. So you can see here, Christy Abercrombie. This is the one we're gonna keep. Okay, this is the one we wanna keep. And this one here, somebody put in Christy Abercrombie with a Y, okay? Now, we know because these are our customers that this is the same person and now we have two customers set up. And so we want to merge this one into this one. OK, so what you're going to do, go to the one you want to merge and go to edit. And what you want to do is you want to change this information right here, this name to match exactly what the other one is. Okay, so this one is, let me just go into edit here. It is Abercrombie with an IE, comma, Christie with a Y. Okay, so let me go over here and I am going to edit this one. And we're going to go up here and we're going to change IE. Okay, so now we've changed it and we're going to say OK. And it's going to say this name is already in use and cannot be merged. Names with subnames cannot be merged. OK, so that can create a problem. So what does that mean? OK, a subname is a job. OK, so what we want to do, we want to cancel this and then we want to go over here and we want to we can do one of two things. We can edit this. OK, and we can uh, make this, let's change this over to Christy Abercrombie because we're going to be moving it. Okay, so we have to get this job, this sub-customer is what QuickBooks are calling it, over to the other customer. Okay, so we want to change that. So now we'll see that the remodel shows up over here. And then we want to go to this one. And we want to say IE. We hit OK. Would you like to merge them? OK, so you see now it's letting us merge them. So if you have jobs or you have these sub customers set up, you're going to have to make them not a sub customer of that one that you want to merge first. OK, so let's click Yes. OK, a duplicate ship to address name was found during merging. Duplicate ship to address name from the customer job you're merging to will be lost after the merge. Do you want to continue? And we're OK with that. So we're going to click Yes. OK. So now you'll see we just have Christy Abercrombie, all right? And the other one with the Y at the end of Abercrombie is gone. And now we have the remodel here. Now you will notice a couple of things here. You've got the bill to name, okay? So with this job, you're going to want to change that. So you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to change, you know, the job information uh, to Christy Abercrombie. You're going to have to change the email and some of the other contact information. Uh, but for for all transactional purposes, everything else has been merged into Christy Abercrombie. OK, now this makes it, you know, it's really quite easy to do this when you don't have jobs and other items set up. 
uh, you can simply merge names, you know, from one name into another name. Okay. Now, uh, any questions whatsoever, please feel free to leave a comment below. Also, head over to the QuickBooks University. We'd love to have you become a member. You know, we're building a real tribe over there. We've got a great group of people that are members. Members are people who have purchased the training tutorials and uh, get personal support from me and from the community. So check us out at qbuniversity.org.